guys, it's Marissa. We're live today with a stamp a stack of cards. I'll give you some time to get in here. We are going to put together four cards. I did quite a bit of the prep work ahead of time so that it would go quickly, but um, this is my stamp a stack for you today. Four birthday cards, all featuring the piece of cake stamp set and the cake builder punch. Our retirement party today is for those guys. This is the cake builder punch. It's available while supplies last. And the piece of cake stamp set is also available while supplies last. We are gonna wish them a fond farewell with an awesome stamp a stack of cards. So here's our four cards. One, two, three, four. And they came from one sheet of six by six designer series paper. This is the brand new Wonder Recipe number eight. So if you're unfamiliar with the Wonder Recipes, let me tell you what that is. So at Kitchen Table Stamper, we do one sheet wonders in six by six. So the nice part about a six by six Wonder Recipe is you could get four of those out of a 12 by 12 sheet. So if you really needed a lot of cards, then you could do um, your Wonder Recipe four times out of one 12 by 12 paper. So Wonder Recipe number eight is our brand new one. It's, um, will yield four or five cards depending on what you do with these two pieces here and that's the one that we're going to do today for our stampa stack so i'm happy to be debuting wonder recipe number eight so wonder recipe number eight indicates to you probably that there is a wonder recipe number seven and a wonder recipe number six and those are all available on the blog you can print off the wonder recipe cutting diagrams they're there for you to enjoy. I just put the brand new Wonder Recipe number eight on the um, Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social. You can find that one there. It'll also be in the blog post later on today. Um, we are going to, or at the Craft Social though, we're playing uh, card making taboo. So that's the, this is my entry. So Card Making Taboo and the Craft Social, I hope you'll come and join us, is um, it was suggested by Jackie Anderson. She's a kitchenette on my team. And she said, how about we try like Taboo? And I said, what is that? And she said, it's um, a game where they give you um, something that everybody else has to guess and you have to help them guess without saying certain things. So are you guys familiar with Taboo? Somebody like make a comment because I'm not seeing any comments um, if you're familiar with Taboo or if you play Taboo. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll start to see your comments. Somebody let me know. But so on the craft social, we're playing stamping card making Taboo. And the Taboo is so the, the hint is, or the assignment is to make a birthday card. And the taboo is circles, the color blue, and fun folds. So your birthday card cannot have any of those three taboos. And so I did not do a fun fold. I did a, a one sheet wonder, no blue, and no circles. We're doing today, we're going to stamp a whole um, stack of cards. They all come from one sheet of six by six designer series paper. This is our brand new designer series paper. It's coming in the new annual catalog. This is called Flowers for Every Season. It's gorgeous paper. It's um, a lot of very bold patterns. I don't know how much I'll mix and match them, but I want to show you this and um, let you know. So this is A side and B side. I love this stripes. One of my kids yesterday said, pink lemonade, mom. I thought, how beautiful, right? All right, this side this side so if you're curious about all the new designer series papers and you want a little bit of everything please check out the kitchen table stamper um, just the paper please paper share it's $65 $8 if you require shipping no shipping charge if you can pick it up and the paper share is one quarter package of every new 
designer series paper and specialty designer series paper. So there's 16 packages. You'll get a quarter package of each. That way you'll get to have some of everything. You can figure out what your favorites are, see them in real life before you commit to a whole pack. And then there's also the um, celebration sampler. Now the celebration sampler is the um, paper share. So you get one quarter each of 16 packs of paper, but you're also gonna get a ribbon combo package and an embellishment pack that you can use for an absolutely free, oh, and mini paper pumpkin boxes for an absolutely free class. And the class will be held on Facebook. You'll have seven projects in the class. It'll feature the um, celebration of Tag Stamp Set and the tags Tag Trio Die Set. And that one, oh, we already saw this one. And that one will be um, $93 with the extra embellishments, paper pumpkin boxes, and stuff like that. So if you're looking to get a little bit of all the papers and you want to do it just the papers, or if you want to do it with the inspiration and motivation to crack into all that paper, um, join those things. You have until the second to RSVP with your payment because... I am ordering at the very first moment that Stampin' Up! is open for ordering from the new catalog. We're um, up against some um, potential back order issues. issues. Um, resupplying stuff is kind of slow. And I want to make the best possible chance that we'll have to get everything in before there are back orders. So you have to order and pay by June 2nd. Information about the paper sampler and the celebration or the paper share and the celebration sampler are on the blog. Okay, so here's our four cards. And what I did ahead of time, I did a lot of the little bits and pieces. So I made myself four little card kits. I took the colors from the designer series paper, of course, no blue because blue is taboo. And um, we're going to make the four cards. I did on each card one of the steps so you don't have to watch me cut four cake plates and color four cakes so we're going to go through this kind of modular the first thing i think we should do though is cut our designer series paper according to the wonder recipe all right so my designer series paper is this little six by six guy and we're going to cut it according to the wonder recipe the wonder recipe is already on the kitchen table stamper craft social so if you're not a member there um, join the group and join the game you don't have to make a stack of four cards for the taboo just one will do but you know sometimes I get an idea in my head and that's the end of it all right so for cutting according to our diagram we're gonna start by cutting off um, one and three quarters of an inch so we're gonna slice off one and three quarters that leaves four and a quarter and one and three quarters. Then we're gonna turn this guy, we're gonna cut at two, and then we're gonna cut at four. So I'm gonna slide that aside or cut another two inches. So either way, however you look at that. But what we've got now is four and a quarter by two times three pieces. So here's three cards. We're gonna use one of those with our Magenta Madness. We're gonna use one of those with our bumblebee, and we're gonna use one of those with our purple posy. So there's those guys. Now this one, we're gonna cut this guy at three and a quarter. And now this part is kind of fun because whatever you decide to do with these pieces determines whether you're going to have a four card stamp a stack from this wonder recipe or if you're going to have a five card so you could definitely just put these little pieces one on each card and do two you could put them on your card to show both sides of the paper if the paper coordinates nicely or you can use just one side or the other so this is a fun little flexibility however you want to do it i'm using both on one card in this and that'll be our just jade card so then you'll see my Just Jade card, my Purple Posy card, my Bumblebee card have already been embossed in the background. 
with this brand new, so you're getting retirement party for a piece of cake and the cake builder, but some brand new sneak peeks too. This is the Tasteful Textile 3D embossing folder, and I love, it's more dramatic than subtle, the subtle 3D embossing folder, but it gives you a very neutral um, texture. So let's go ahead and emboss that guy up. Got my big shot, but I need to rearrange my plates a little bit here. Let's crank this out. When you're using these 3D ones in the big shot, you get rid of everything but the platform and you pop the folder and paper through with the embossing plate. So let's get some texture on this guy. And here's our embossing plate. Square this up. Make sure that you're against the edge of the platform on the top and the bottom. You don't want to crank the spine off your folder. And if it scrapes along here, your folders are going to come out in two pieces. Give that guy a little crank. Now it's going to join the rest of our card bases and having a fantastical texture. Magenta Madness and that awesome texture. Isn't that a great color? All right. So here's our little kit for this dude. And you'll see that I've got everything kind of done for this one. So this one's just going to be some a little stamping and assembly. I'm going to slide over to our um, kit here. I want to work on this purple posy one first because this one doesn't have the cake. I have left only one cake for us to stamp and color together, even though a stamp a stack we need four. That's like watching paint dry if you had to watch me color and stamp, color, and punch four cakes. So let's just go with one, and then we'll pretend by the magic of TV that all the rest of them are done. I got Memento Tuxedo Black, and... I decided that this pretty little floral cake was a good match for our new designer series paper. Nice and springy for feminine birthdays. Ooh, nice image. So much little detail. All right, so here's the piece of cake stamp set. This one's retiring. It's got how many? Six different cake options, candles. Um, lollipops, a little heart, and flowers for the topper. Very fun mix and match. Sentiments are um, kind of long skinnies. They go great with the classic label punch. This one's available while supplies last. And the funny part is, is the punches were on stop sell for so long when they first came out. So I feel like I got it and then didn't use it very much. Um, so it's really nice to pull it out and play again. Let me grab our... Um, I want the sample guy for my purple posy so you can see what we're making here. All right, so this is what we're making. And you'll see that I just did a happy birthday along the scallop stitched rectangle. So we're going to do that stamping too. This is the scallop stitched from Stitched So Sweetly. And it is, I don't remember which one. Let's get the chart so I can tell you. All the measurements and stuff are on the project sheet. So you'll know this is C. It's the third largest, three and three sixteenths by two and one sixteenth. Already cut those ahead of time for you. And we're gonna stamp happy birthday from the same stamp set right across the bottom. This is where things get wonky because you, the phone's right in between me and the paper. There we go, not bad. Not too uphill or downhill either. All right, so we've got our sentiment in our cake. I'm going to pull aside the stamp and pierce mat and let's color up this cake. I've got my piece of cake, cake stamped in memento tuxedo black, and we're going to color it now. I've got purple posy combo, I've got daffodil delight combo, I've got lovely lipstick combo. We are retiring lovely lipstick. They're still available while supplies last, and they've been actually helping me get by until Magenta Madness becomes available. And then I got Shaded Spruce, and this one is helping me get by. This combo is helping me get by until just Jade comes around. It's not um, perfect, but it's a close, uh, it's a close match. 
So let's color our little cake. It's funny because all we're going to do is dab some colors here. It's pretty, pretty small space to color. Um, I'm going to start with my Daffodil Delight the Dark and just dab the centers of the daisies and then at the base of the petals. Got yellow daisies going on. Literally, we're going to dab, but it does turn out so pretty. It's really, this is my favorite cake in the whole piece of cake stamp set. I do like the one with the dots and the stripes too. All right, so there's Daffodil Delight. Then let's go with the shaded spruce and then do light shaded spruce and we'll dab a little bit in the leaves. Here you can decide if you wanted to make a little dot of the dark shaded spruce at the base of each of these leaves but it's really so little. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in all my leaves with light shaded spruce. And then the bigger kind of rosette flowers, I'm gonna do some light, lovely lipstick and just scribble them in, I'm not even coloring them perfectly. They have little white highlights, it's no big deal. And then I'm gonna just swipe a little bit of the dark or even just dot a little bit of the dark in the flower. It just gives them some dimension. Last up, my purple posy. I want to start with the dark purple posy this time. And I'm going to color these little trim along the top of the cake with the dark purple posy. And then there's tiny little rosettes or little posies in the spray of flowers that I'm going to do some dark purple posy and I'm going to go over these little elements twice because the light purple or the purple posy is a very light color and we want a little more impact so we're going to layer our color that way light purple posy we're going to shade the edges of the cake just kind of add in a shadow see it's a like a round swoop we're going to do the three edges with that kind of round swoop and then fill in the right edge of the top layer. Then we'll take our color lifter and blend the purple to the white. We want it to kind of fade out from the edge. That gives us a white frosting on our cake that looks white and makes our cake look round but it doesn't look like we forgot to color it. So if you just left it white, it would be kind of oddly open, but when you add that soft shadow around the edges of your cake, it makes your cake look round, like it's moving away from the eye and finished. So there's our cake. Let me go ahead and grab our Cake Builder Punch. Love this guy. We're going to just slide right in. It does the cake all the cakes in the stamp set and the cake plate so super fast I <laughs> love that and let's go ahead and put this guy together oh I have one more bit all right so I did this for all the rest we're playing taboo on the kitchen table stamper craft social so if you're not a member over there get over to the kitchen table stamper craft social and play taboo with us this weekend so the taboo today is, or the, the game is make a birthday card. The taboo is the color blue, circles, and fun folds. So because circles is taboo, and I always, if you hang around kitchen table stamper at all, you know that I always take my little flower, I've punched it with a small bloom punch, and then I take my take your pick to all the putty end and I form the flower. Then I take a quarter inch circle, I punch it out and put it in the middle. But circles are taboo. <laughs> so what did I do? I dug a little deeper and it's retirement time. It's retirement party. I got my arts and crafts dies. Now these are still available. They are a phenomenal discount. And let me tell you, the little paper buttons that you're going to be able to make with this stamp set, the little borders, the paper clip are so worth the um, investment. I think they're like $12 and change right now. I didn't look that one up. I did make sure that they were still available this morning, but I forget the sale price. So let's slide this all to the side for a minute. And we're going to die cut 
a little flower shaped button. See, it's not a circle from Poppy Parade cardstock. So here's my big shot. We're gonna have to stack up our platforms again. Let me get this guy in here. We're gonna cut out a button. So all my flower centers are flower shaped, no circles, because circles are taboo. I hope that if you're stamping this weekend, you'll come play the game with us. All right, so there's my little flower. Wait till you see this, it's so cute. Do you see that? Cuts out perfectly, stitches the edges, cuts the little buttonholes, adds absolutely no weight to your card, no bulk to your card. And the buttons, there's a snap with no holes in it. There's a flower button, a square button, and several size round, you know, circle buttons. So really good stamp set. Just pick it up before it's gone if it interests you. I've had a lot of fun with my little paper buttons. I think I got a little bit of happy birthday greeting on my colored cake. All right, so I'm threading my button with some linen thread, and I'm going to go front to back, back to front, and then tie a little bow on the top. Ooh, maybe one of the taboos. Um, next week we're gonna do mystery stamping on Thursday in the craft social. So next Thursday we'll do, we'll meet together at two o'clock and we'll have a mystery card, but the Thursday after that we'll try taboo again and maybe, um, ribbon thread fibers maybe that'll be one of my taboos that's another hard one for me to leave off of a card i always have to have a little fiber little ribbon twine lace something all right tie my bow let's snip that away from the spool now there's a flower center that isn't circle wouldn't you say all right, I'm going to take a little half of a mini dimensional. I actually might do two halves because then it will help keep the round shape or the cup shape of our flower. So we'll pop this right in the center of our bumblebee flower. Now I've got a flower with a flower center. Too cute. All right, I'm gonna end up a cake short at the end of it because I did get some ink on the cake that we just colored. So at the end, after we're done, I'll color another one to finish my last card. But let's get this guy glued down. So here's the fun part about the Wonder Recipe. This is all the same size piece. This is two by four and a quarter. So on this card, we're gonna use this piece on a um, landscape card on the left hand side that you're going to see when we do the magenta card and we do the bumblebee card that you can get a lot of different looks from the same pieces all right so i'm going to grab up some of my adhesive here let's glue our designer series paper in place we got a mess going on here about three quarters of an inch from the edge. Let's see here. Here's our sample. This is what we're doing. All right. Now my happy birthday. We can glue that one down to flat adhesive. And we're going to center that top to bottom, overlapping the designer series paper about three quarters of an inch. So we're going to get kind of an asymmetric balance. I've got my leaves already cut on one of the next cards. I'll show you where that came from or we'll do some of those, but that's from a brand new set. That's another sneak peek. That's from the Sunflowers dies. I'm gonna put that guy down with some multi-purpose liquid glue, kind of a swoop of leaves. Um, my leaf punch is retired, sold out. Uh, all of you who hang around with me know how devastating that's been. This might be my new leaf punch. I really like the way that it adds a little texture to a card. There's that guy. Let's pop a little multi-purpose liquid glue on the back of our flower. And that's gonna go right at the edge. Don't cover your sentiment, make sure. Now our pieces. I'll show you the 
um, cake plate too. I punched it ahead for this one, but we'll punch it on one of the next ones. I'm gonna put some um, dimensionals on the back of this. I've got them all cut up in kind of small bits, so we'll add some little bits of mini dimensional to the back. I found that a half of a mini dimensional fits to support this long skinny part along the top of the cake plate. So we'll do that and then put a couple on the back of our cake. Thoughts are. So we're gonna put that over our leaves. It's a little downhill here. Let me give it a pivot. And our cake. And you could stack these layer cakes and make a taller cake if you like. <laughs> what do you think? One down, three to go. All right, let's grab this guy next. Here's our Magenta Madness and our designer series paper. So it's that same two by four and a quarter inch piece, but for this guy, we're gonna apply a little bit differently. So here's our sample for this one. We're gonna adhere our designer series paper. We've already embossed the front like we did with the purple posy, and we're gonna do this guy Let's see, which way do I like it? I think this guy, kind of a fun, jaunty angle. Now, I've got my tag here. This one, I feel like if you know me, you know what my go-tos are. This is the tag from the Retiring Bonanza Buddies. Last time I checked, this guy is still available. It's a great way to stretch that Bonanza dies. The Bonanza Buddies bundle, it's got the little banners and the tag. I'll be using those for a long time to come. Let's stamp some greetings on the bottom of our tag. I've got Memento Tuxedo Black and my Stampin' Pierce mat. This time we're going to stack the greetings. So it says, Happy Birthday, Count the Good Times, Not the Candles. And I like to start with Count the Good Times, Not the Candles, and build up from it. So we're going to stamp in the bottom right corner, using the stitches to kind of guide us for level. And then happy birthday above. And both of these greetings are from Piece of Cake. But look at how nice they just mix and match and stack. Really a cute one. Now the tag has the Nature's Twine. Nature's Twine was a four pack with Grapefruit Grove, um, Crumb Cake, uh, fresh fig and mint macaron and I pulled out this remaining spool of mint macaron and it looks really pretty with the just jade it gives us kind of a a tone on tone kind of look so we're gonna use up nature's twine this one's available while supplies last you get four spools of this kind of rustic it's a thick twine and it's it's more of a natural fiber than a cottony fiber. I also find that it twists less. You know how sometimes twine can be really wily and it wants to roll up on itself when you tie it in a bow? I find I have a little bit easier time getting this one to stay straight where it should be straight and loopy where it should be loopy. So we're gonna add a bow to the top of there. Don't miss this one while supplies last. You get four different colors in a pack and it's really easy to work with. Let's adhere our tag to our card. And then that's gonna have kind of a fun angle too. So here's a second layout that you can use with that two by four and a quarter inch piece from the Wonder Recipe. I've got this time a little purple posy flower. Stamp that one with a small bloom punch. I'm gonna grab my stamp and pierce mat. Let's make that kind of cup shape by using our take your pick tool. I already ahead of time threaded my little button. So no bow this time, I just threaded it. And we're gonna stick that one in the center of this button. You should have seen the audition process as I was trying to find a center for my flower that wasn't a quarter inch circle. Cause I always just pop a quarter inch circle in the center of this. I think it brings it all to life. But no circles, that's the taboo rules. All right, so there's my, my butterflies are punched already with the butterfly duet punch. 
on one of these kits, I'll probably punch one for you. But these are done. Don't want you to have to watch me punch um, everything, especially on repeat for a four card stack. I'm gonna add my butterflies. I liked them on the white. They kind of filled the big tag, so we'll just have them floating up from there. But you'll see we're missing our little greenery this time. So let me grab my big shot and we're going to, oh, no, look, I don't even have to this time. I got a greenery. I'll cut the greenery for the next project. So here's another one of those little leaves from the new sunflower dyes. Add a little multi-purpose liquid glue on that guy. Pop it to the side, let it flow over our tag and kind of frame our greeting. Little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. Don't cover your birthday sentiment. And then we need a cake and a tag. All right, I'm gonna be a cake short in the end because I am not putting that cake. It looks like it's got a G stamped on it. So let me just grab this guy's cake. We're gonna cannibalize somebody else's. A little more multi-purpose. Oh, not, mul not multi-purpose liquid glue this time. I like the dimensionals. I like to. I like the attention that it puts on the cake and the cake plate. They're kind of small, so when you bump them up, it kind of makes them bigger. So there's our little cake plate and cake, and there is design number two. <laughs> All right, now let's go to the bumblebee guy because the bumblebee guy has that seam two by four and a quarter inch piece. And we're going to add our designer series paper. So this one, we put it portrait at kind of a cattywampus angle. This one, we put the piece landscape about a three quarters of an inch from the edge. This is the same piece. And for this bumblebee guy, we're going to put it about a quarter of an inch from the bottom and we're gonna do a portrait card. So no boring one sheet wonders here. I try to make these so that they get you started in the right direction, but so that they also open up creativity. So there's this guy. Let's stamp happy birthday on our stitch rectangle. This is the same size, which makes it easy to turn the one sheet wonder into a bunch of cards really fast too. Sometimes you just need to get some cards done but you don't want them to look like you just slapped a little greeting on a little designer series paper on a card base. You want it to look a little bit more special. So um, by repeating elements just in different orientations and different colors, you can really make each card look unique and special. But you'll see every card has either the stitched scallop rectangle or the tag from the Bonanza Buddies. And each of the cards has the exact same cake and cake plate. Each of the cards has the small bloom punch in the um, button die center, but by shaking up the colors and turning it on its side, we get a very different look. So there's our happy birthday. And we've got our little Bloom Punch. This is Magenta Madness. I've already even scrunched it. Here's our little button with the linen thread. I put the dimensionals on the back, so let's just assemble that guy. Less pieces for me to lose. This is the one I'll put the cake on later. Got to cannibalize one of them. All right, so we got to slide to the side for just a minute our pieces, because now we're going to do our leaves. So put you aside. Here's our Just Jade scrap. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Right, die cut machine is all set up. So we're just gonna pop the two leaves. There's a little single sprig and then a double sprig. I think that's another reason why this might be my new leaf punch because I can do two in one pass. And that's from Sunflowers Dyes, the brand new set. Let me give this guy a crank. A 
we have our little leafy greens let me show you this is just jade i hope that my camera is picking up really good color and your monitor displays it well but look at how beautiful that twine is with the just jade just shows to go yes stampin up's color palette is really well thought out all right for our bumblebee sample we need the two leaf or the two sprig leaf we'll set that one aside for our just jade and let's just glue a little bit of glue here uh, multi-purpose liquid glue for my leaves i'm going to do them first kind of swoop across my happy above my happy birthday greeting and look that's all you need really just dab the glue bottle on each of the leaves that's entirely enough glue and then you won't have a big mess nothing will ooze out and then swoop across little rectangle get this guy on there with some multi-purpose liquid glue right on the edge of the scallops cover up the stems but don't cover up your greeting and i'm going to put the cake plate with dimensionals and then the cake I don't know what I did to my cake, see? Wah, wah, wah. So I'll color another one. It's totally worth it. But that'll be on dimensionals. All right, so there's design number three. Can you believe we're almost done? What gorgeous stamp a stack of cards. Here's design number four. Now design number four is the flexible one in the bunch. We've got those two pieces of designer series paper they're three or one and three quarters inch wide and then three and let's see here where's my this is three and a quarter and this one is then two and three quarters so in this case you can do like this or you could do like this if you had a designer series paper where both sides coordinated really nice and you didn't want to cover up either one you could do something like that you could use just one piece and then make another card using this piece but it's really your choice how you want to use these last two pieces and what we did was we used the same side both pieces but I think for this one, we're going to, as long as I like, uh, the Magenta Madness um, Butterfly might just be a little bit too much for me to use the yellow side. I think I'm gonna have to use the same side for both, for both pieces. So here's my Magenta Madness scrap. I'm gonna punch a little butterfly with the duet. And we need a flower. I have a poppy parade scrap here. I haven't used my mini blooms punch. I'm so excited this one's coming back. Punch one of those. You've seen my little button. I've already threaded it with some linen thread. We die cut our sprig. Now I'm gonna cut a cake plate. <laughs> Carol said she didn't see anything wrong with the, the cake. I got a little uh, smudge. I think I put it against one of the stamps because it actually looks kind of like a, a G. I have a feeling it hit the Y from either happy or birthday. And it's got a letter-shaped smudge on it. All right. So there's our little cake plate cut from silver foil. And now it's just assemble. Uh, I don't know about the butterfly. I think we need the multicolor paper to tie in that butterfly. So I'm going to do them both the same this time. But what I wanted to show you is the flexibility of the Wonder Recipe and how it helps you make a lot of decisions. Um, the designer series paper is always cut, and if you are already cut, once you use the Wonder, once you apply the Wonder Recipe, and sometimes the hardest part for me is cutting into the beautiful paper. Um, the layouts are flexible, but they're not um, 
overwhelmingly flexible. You get some, some of the choices are already made for you once you cut the paper. When you've chosen the paper and cut the paper, your color palette's already laid out for you. So there's a lot of decisions that are already made by just choosing the paper and being bold to cut it up. Um, and that's why I do the Wonder Recipes because sometimes I get really overwhelmed and I just need a place where I can um, jump in without always recreating the wheel, you know? So now we're gonna put our greetings on. We're gonna repeat our greetings. Again, a lot of little repeat elements means that each card has its own unique flair, but it doesn't leave you scratching your head and saying, hmm, how do I um, start over again entirely? You know, each card kind of one flows into the next for design. I've got uh, count the good times, not the calories, and happy birthday. Oh, I love this set. I'm glad I got some time to play with it again. All right, we're gonna glue our tag to the front. So glad we're gonna have another strong adhesive. I like using um, Fast Fuse, so I think the new Stamp and Seal Plus is gonna be the answer to that. But I like using Fast Fuse when you're gluing to an embossed surface, especially a 3D embossed surface. So I'm really excited about the new adhesive coming. And that means I could stop hoarding Fast Fuse. Is anybody else hoard, or was anybody else hoarding Fast Fuse or is that just me? I'm gonna pop my little flower. Let's get the center in there. Ethel wants to know what are we going to do without that tag. I know. There's nothing There's nothing replacing it that's exactly like it. It's kind of large compared to a lot of the um the uh a lot of the existing label dies and things. Probably a lot of the stitched scallop rectangles, those are a nice size. Ah, the tag. It was so fun to play with. It was fun while it lasted. You know what I have to do when I when I start to feel like that is just remember that Stampin' Up! has never left let me down. There's always something new and awesome that comes out to replace anything that retires that I loved. All right, so there's my flower. I got my little butterfly over here. If you hang around kitchen table stamper, you might know my sad story. The butterfly gala stamp set is carrying over into the new catalog, so I might have to buy myself one because I lost the little butterfly body stamp. So there is a stamp for this. You don't have to wing it with a um, Stampin' Right, but mine's lost. So I hold my nose and do it every time and wish that it was straighter. But job done. Maybe I'll get myself another butterfly gala stamp set one of these days. There's a the little body and a greeting missing from my stamp set. So I just drew it on with a Stampin' Right. Get that guy where the tag and the designer series paper meet. And I want something that oh, my scissor tip will do. I need to give that a little squish and a turn without completely removing it. And we need some dimensionals here. So there is our stamp a stack of cards. I hope you guys are in love with the new papers. I am really, um, I'm really excited this year. Stampin' Up! has outdone themselves. But then again, the holiday catalog designer series papers were awesome. And the occasions papers were awesome. I had a little bit more trouble working with last year's annual papers. So that's really, it's really exciting to me to have such a great offering of a designer series paper this year. And let's get this guy stuck on there. Let me see what's in there. Jackie says maybe the new mini catalog that's coming will have more um, choices for tags and stuff. I'm sure it will. That's I soothe myself every night when I think about the favorite things that I lose, like the leaf punch, the little tag from um, Bouquet, what it was it called, Bouquet Bunch, 
Oh my goodness, that's such a sad loss for me. There's always something new that comes along. And in the meantime, it forces my creativity a little bit. I'm, this little sprig, look at what a fun detail that makes underneath the cake plate. So I have to reach outside my comfort zone too, which only makes us better stampers. Okay, so there we go. Happy birthday. Count the good times, not the calories. There's design number one. And then happy birthday, design number two. And happy birthday, design number three. And happy birthday, design number four. Four cards. And all of them have great details and um, original look. They don't look like car you know copies of each other. They have their own creative expression. And so that's the idea behind the Wonder Recipe. I hope that you'll try it. If you try the Wonder Recipe number four, I mean number eight, and you use Stampin' Up! products, I want you to share on the craft social. So take a picture and share them. And if you want to play Taboo with us, join the craft social. Don't forget to get your last chance items. Local customers. If you have small orders, you want a pack of paper before it's gone or a stamp set, but you don't want to pay $6.95 shipping, I'm putting in my last order this weekend. So hopefully by Saturday morning, if you'd like to add on small orders to save shipping, please reach out. It's best to email or text me. Um, I don't always get the notifications well for Facebook message. So text or email me and let me know. I'm happy to add it to my order for porch pickup so that you can save on shipping. If your order is under $70, you're going to save on shipping. So reach out and let me know for the last chance if you need anything. And by June 2nd, you have to RSVP for the paper share. $65 for a quarter of a pack of each of the 16, just the paper. $8 shipping if you need your paper share shipped. And then the party, the celebration, the celebration sampler includes a class, a Facebook party, it includes a ribbon combo pack, it includes mini, some mini paper pumpkin boxes, and it includes, um, let's see, it includes a full package of artistry, bloom sequins, a full package of playing with patterns, ribbon combo, and three mini paper, paper pumpkin boxes. It includes the class, the kits, and the Facebook party. That's $93. Just the paper is $65. Those are pickup prices. If you need me to ship it, it's $8 for priority mail service. All right. Oh, and we're doing online bingo Friday, June 19th. And seats are filling for that one. I still have seats for Friday, June 19th. It's 7 p.m. That makes it 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific. We're going to do a stamp a stack after we play um, four awesome games of bingo with new catalog prizes. So if you've got questions about those things, check out the calendar page at Kitchen Table Stamper. The project sheet and Wonder Recipe Cutting Guide and a video for this will be posted um, this weekend on the blog. If you have any questions, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. Bye.